so Come on, come on Shorty Let's go Girl, I see you over there in the corner Of the dance floor and I know, I know ya Acting shy Looking at the corner of your eyes So I pick my heart up off the floor Move my feet closer to yours Catch my breath and I say I'm the one you're looking for, boy So come on, come on, dance a little dance Take my hand, darling, take a chance You be my queen, I'll be your king Hello everyone, welcome to the channel guys So what I wanted to share with you guys, I wanted to apologize I wanted to sincerely apologize because I've been missing out. I've been missing out on your comments. I've been missing out on all the love that you guys are showing to me on my channel. What I suspect, what I realize that I've been doing is that on YouTube, when I upload my videos and I um, have to, there's a section where you will have to manage your comments. And what I suspect that I've been, what I realize that I've been doing is that I, what I put on, I said hold all comments for review and I don't go back into the comments to click on to publish them or to check them at all. So, and YouTube deletes the, the comments after 60 days. I wanted to sincerely apologize because I've been this video with you guys for 2022. I wanted to share with you about business. My idea, mm, simple idea, or should I say a little idea, which I think uh, makes sense to me, hopefully it makes sense to you, and um, for those of you who care to listen and who care to take my advice, please check out the video, guys. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of it all. <laughs> So I wanted to share with you guys, um, December 24 was six months since we've been in the Gambia. Yay! <laughs> so six months since we've been in the Gambia and I must say, I must say with all the challenges, with all the ups and downs, with all the, which was not so much, which with all what has been has happened with us, right, in our life, uh, being in the Gambia, our experience being in the Gambia, I can say and I must say that life is beautiful here. You know, most most times you will say, oh, you, because you are you making a channel, so you will make you want people to believe that you know life is good. You always say positive things and whatever, whatever, whatever. But that's not me. With me, I am a very positive person. I like to um, look ahead. I don't like to look at my situation as is. Uh, I like to move forward very quickly, and um, I don't, I don't like lingering on a problem. When it's happening, then it's happening and it's stressing me out and whatever. But when it's resolved, I want to just move on right away. So being here in the Gambia has been a challenge uh, in a few ways, but those ways are the good, the good outweighs the bad. And it's not even about bad, it's just building this place and getting, having to, to um, interact with the people here and workers and it was a very, it was very stressful building this place and um, getting things together. And it's not as perfect as we would like it to be, but I think I've said in one of my videos before that hair, it teaches you to, um, I'm not sure if it's a good thing, but you lower your standards a bit, or you find, you spend your money and you find um, professionals who are able to do it, but you have to spend that money. So if you don't have much and you want to do something, then and you're hiring locals, then you know that you will not be getting a perfect job, right? And we know that. But anyways, let's move on from that. We have our building, we opened up our boutique, and things have been good, you know, business has been good. I can't complain. 
if I do complain, I am very ungrateful. And um, yeah, I thank the Most High. All praises to Him for be, for putting us in a position where we are able to, to where we were able to do this and to be opened uh, and to be, you know, bringing back what some of what we have spent, right? But I don't want this video to be too long. So what I wanted to share with you guys was um, the fa the fact that. Uh, when we come into the Gambia, those of us who are coming to the Gambia, those of us who are thinking of coming, and those of us who are already here, when you're thinking of coming to the Gambia, to explain it to do business, if you have it in mind to do a business, to start any business, or whatever it is, whether it's a small coffee shop, whether it's a, uh, a boutique, whether it's a restaurant, whether whatever business it is, um, my advice, not sure if it's for everyone or if everyone will accept it, but my advice is to cater to the locals. Because there are so many more of the locals here, obviously, you want to be able to open a business where you can cater to them. That way you have a constant uh, turnaround, you have a constant uh, influx of people coming in um, into your business, coming in and out of your door for the day, and um, you are able to see a profit quicker uh, in whatever business that you are doing. If you have a business, and if you've come here with a business, and you only your business is only um, geared towards uh, the diaspora, as African Americans, as you call them, the diaspora, um, people who have come from Europe and whatever, if your business is only get towards them it may not always um take off on the right like at a speed that you want it to if you things will be very slow for a few months um, and even if people are coming in because you have contacts and people that know you or whatever if it's a business that you have like you wanted to move 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 like you have food or you have clothing or you have things that you're selling retail or whatever then you may not see much people coming into your um, your place of business if you're only catering to diasporas. Meaning, if your prices are high, if your the business itself that you are doing is for diasporas, the locals are very simple people. And most of them will complain, even when they walk in here into this boutique, most of them will complain that they don't have money. But then you know that they, they have money because if there's a festival, I know for Christmas that weekend, they had a, a gala gala on the Saturday or Friday. They had a show on the Saturday. They had something on the Sunday, right? And people were coming. That's why, that's why I say the month of December was really good for us because we were coming in. Um, people were coming in every day. We were making thousands for the day. So we were coming in buying clothes and buying shoes and stuff like that. So you know that they were going somewhere. But Gambians will buy, they will spend their monies where they feel that it's more beneficial to them. Where it makes sense to them. Whatever they feel that they need. But they will, oh, they will still want it at a very low price. So if you have, like my boutique, I have both new and new stuff here. So a Gambian will come and they will be able to find something for $25, $50, and stuff like that, right? And they know they will come and they will find that. Uh, somebody else will come, even a Gambian will come who has the money. That means they will come and they will get something for $500, $1,000, $2,000, you understand? You understand my, my dream? So you want to have a business um, not all businesses will be able to do that, but you want to have a business that you, especially if it's something that you're going to depend on to, to for your day to day, you want to have something that uh, people can come in, can keep coming in and buy and spend it with you. So, um, saying that, um, that's one thing you want to focus on. So, when you come into the Gambia, when you have a business idea. You think about that. If you have, a, if you have food, selling food, most Gambians I have listened to, they would say that um, they will, they wouldn't walk into a restaurant because automatically they think that the food 
automatically they're thinking that the food there is very expensive. So they won't walk into a restaurant that they figure is expensive. But if you have something on the side of the road where you sell food, they are quicker to go to that place. We will buy a plate of food for $50 dollars a year, $100 dollars at most, right? So if it's when it comes to food, you don't want to put your food prices in 300 350 and up. Because that means you're only catering to a few people. Not many Gambians will go to sit down at a restaurant and spend that money. And uh, especially if it's a family or whatever. So that way you're not catering to the, the locals and the small people. When I say small, I mean people who don't have much, right? So you want to really th focus on that when it comes to business. and. Um, Old customer service, and they don't care about your customer service anyways. They just want to make sure that they walk in and find something that suits their budget and find something that they need. They will not come into a, a place, a business, or a, a business where they don't need your, your product. So I just wanted to share with you guys that's something that I've been, when I sit there and I listen to uh, the people, I, I that's something that they, people come walk in and they'll give me ideas for my business. They will tell me, put in something else besides the besides just selling clothes. I don't just sell groceries in there too. So <laughs> people come in and they give me little ideas, right? And they tell you, oh, you have to make sure you look at to see what the campaigns want and stuff like that. Because they will, they will buy from you. They will support you. If they can afford what you are offering right so that's just my idea if it's something that uh, is not catered to them then obviously it will be a little hard harder to 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 um bring in customers you have to do a lot more marketing and stuff like that to reach the diasporas most of us are coming here and it's not like we have millions but um don't uh just keep it in mind that any business here will grow and will profit if it's something that is uh, geared towards the local people and if it's something that they need. And you'll, you'll make it here. Time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life.